plant tissue analysis. Most farmers don't do it. Personally, I think you have to do it if you want higher yields. It's made a huge difference on our farm. Well, it really has improved things. And actually, a couple of weeks ago, we even got started pulling some tissue analysis in our pastures to try and do a better job uh, with nutrition for our animals, too. So uh, we're Not actually- our animals, yeah, I, I was the say, neighbor's we're, animals. We're actually renting out the pasture <laughs> but it's something that we want to learn more about so we can share that with you. Hopefully this fall and into next year, we'll talk about uh, what we're learning in pastures, how we're getting better protein content in grasses, uh, both with fertilization techniques, but also finding out when we need those nutrients with our plant tissue Okay, analysis. so let's give you a couple of examples. First of all, in wheat, we'll show you some tests that we ran last year on our farm. If you take a look at this, you'll see that we went out there every single week in one field in one spot. So I realize it's not a lot of area or anything like that, but it ends up being a pretty good idea of what we need to change on our farm. So here's what we found. Over time, we found that our phosphorus levels were dropping, but our nitrogen was excessive the whole way through. So for example, let's say we took $20 out of our nitrogen program, put it into our phosphorus program, would we have had higher yields? Absolutely. Would we have known this had we not run tissue samples? No way. That's the big thing here. We used to get to the end of every year and say, oh, I'm a little disappointed in yield. What are we going to do next year? And we'd say, well, I don't really know. Maybe we need more nitrogen. And you know what? The status quo just doesn't work anymore. If you've got anything in your farming operation that you say, well, I guess that's just how it is. We'll just have to wait and see how it turns out. You don't have to have those things anymore. You can find out right now. There's so many things you can do with every pass through the field, but there's also things you can do with analysis of plant tissue and with soils that are way above the last generation. Okay. Okay, so now take a look at some corn samples that we ran last year on our farm, and you'll see as time went on, we ended up being short on potassium a bunch of the time. So where should we spend our fertilizer dollars going into 2009? Now hold up, our soil tests say we're high in potassium. This <laughs> no, is what's really our, tough. Our, the parts per million say that we're high. Base saturation does not say we're high. You know, you've got to look at everything on the soil test, not just parts per million. You also have to look at base saturation. That is actually more important than parts per per million. But anyway, coming back to the whole plant tissue analysis thing, you need plant tissue analysis just to prove to yourself, what does your crop really have? What does it really need? What should I be spending my fertilizer dollar on? Well, my point is they're two separate things. Soil analysis is great and you need that, but plant tissue analysis is also great and you need that too. You can't say, wait a minute, I did a soil test and it told me this. I don't need to do plant tissue tests. That's not true at all. You're going to find there are some tremendous differences out there. Maybe you say, okay, I do have lots of potassium, but I'm not getting it in my crop or I do have lots of phosphorus, but it's not getting into my crop. There's something else that's holding me back. If you don't figure that out, you're gonna be set back the whole time that you're farming. Okay, so you, you say, well, if I wanna do this, that's great, but boy, I need another job like a hole in the head, like all, Dad always right, used to say. So right. how am I gonna get all this done? Okay, here's how you do it. It only <laughs> takes just a few minutes to do this. Just pick a couple of fields on your farm, or maybe you've got one field that you say, you know, Part of the field's great, the other part is not good at all. I'm gonna take a sample from the bad part of the field and the good part, and I'm gonna compare and see what happens. And the big you, thing, don't just do it once, do it every week throughout the growing season, or at least every other week, and then you'll have a pretty good idea what to do. So again, plant tissue analysis is so important for your farm. Just trust me, you have to do this if you wanna get better on your farm. Well, we run our plant tissue analysis through Midwest Labs. I know they've got information at midwestlabs.com. You can look online. If you don't know much about sampling, it's quick, it's easy to do. And while you're out there pulling plant tissue analysis, you can also be looking for weeds like our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to control it coming up next.